Hi, this is Faris and welcome back to Faris Lucy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit and color grade an outdoor portrait. Actually, you will get a complete outline of editing an outdoor portrait. So, let's get started. So, this is the picture I'm going to edit. You can see. Okay, everything is all right, but I want to expand uh, the frame a little bit. Uh, so, pick a crop tool and i want to expand this to press and hold uh, to press and hold option or alt key to expand in both side like this at a time and then and to increase in this corner okay so like this okay and now select the blank area and now just click on the generative fill option and you don't have to type anything just hit the generate button okay if you don't have the generate uh, option and then you can use uh, you can try content hour tool uh, but uh, I prefer generative fill that's very very good so it's done Photoshop has done its job and uh, you will get three options here and I'm going with the number one it looks pretty good so this was the before and this is after you don't follow this option if your framing is good okay I want to merge these two layer uh, just press command and E to merge these two layer and now I want to copy this layer by pressing command and Z okay okay first of all I want to blur uh, I want to increase the blur of the background uh, so I want to separate the subject from the background right now okay copy the layer again by pressing command and Z and one layer is for model and one layer is for background okay select the model layer and just any selection tool pick any selection tool and select the select subject option okay so zoom in and see I think Photoshop has done a great job here look at this it has done really really a great job just fix this area I'm using a quick selection tool just add this area press and hold alter option key for the negative selection I think it's done I think Photoshop has done a good job here okay now just click on the select and mask option and you will get more options for a better selection and select here overlay so you will get a good preview because uh, you can increase or decrease the opacity to uh, get a good preview and now select the refine as brush tool and here okay select the color hour option refine mood color hour and just paint on the edge of the hair so I think it's done the selection is pretty good okay now you can uh, smoothen the edge little bit just a little I think I'm going with three and shifting is minus two okay that's done okay and now come into the output to option and here just click uh, select the layer mask option so look at this if you hide the layer you can see your subject or model now active the background layer and press and hold command or control key and click on the mask to get the selection of your subject and now just go to the select option modify and select the expand okay now I want to expand the selection uh, just uh, 28 pixel you can try 25 30 uh, actually depends on the megapixel of your picture so I'm going to 28 and it works just fine now just right click on the mouse and select the content our fill option okay and now press okay 
and hide the model layer. Press Command and D to deselect or Control and D. And now look at this, it's your background and it's your subject. Now they are into separate layer, okay? But you can see the edges, it's not looking natural, right? In this area, it's not looking good. So we want to fix this in the background layer. So select the background layer. Uh, let's use the clone stamp tool and fix this area. Press and hold option or alt key to pick the sample and then just paint like this. It's very simple. So I think it's done now it's looking good okay so now the subject and backgrounds are in separate layer and they are looking good okay now convert the background layer uh, to a smart object so we can always come back and edit later okay now I want to apply the blur on the background layer okay background layer then to apply the blur go to the filter then blur gallery and select the tilt shift okay now we have to select the area just bring it down and increase the blur value Oops. okay it's looking good okay it's looking good let's decrease it a little bit I think 140 140 is looking good 140 is looking good it's looking good okay so let's zoom in and see the blurred area is not noisy at all there is no grain but in the subject you will see some grain it's natural so Come into the noise option and increase the amount a little bit to mask with your subject. Okay. I think this is good to me. Okay, let's go with 20%. I think this is good. Now come into the effects option and you will find a bokeh option. So just increase the value here okay come into the light trends option in the black area if you uh, go to the black area that means the effect will be applied on the blackish area and if you go to the whitish area that means the bokeh the effect will be applied on the whitish area so i'm going with something like this So I think this is okay. I'm uh, going with these settings. So after all the settings, just hit the okay. Okay, it's done. And as it is a smart object, you can just double click on this and go back and you can change your setting. So this is your subject and this is your background. It's done. Okay, now I want to give the autumn vibe color grading for this. Just very, very easy. I uh, go to the channel mixers channel mixer option and here in the preset just select the autumn color and you will find this preset in the video description okay totally free so it's done look at this this was the before and this is after but uh, there are some problems look at this the skin and the lips is not looking good okay for this just change the blending mode to lighten and look at this this was the before and this is after now it's perfect it's done okay to enhance the effect more go to the uh color balance option okay let's go with it 
and select the shadows maybe and let's increase uh, this one to the red I think and then magenta to towards the magenta in this one and then for the midtones let's increase just a little bit and for magenta I think minus 8 is looking good or just minus 6 so now look at this this was the before and this is after it's looking really really good so let's see the before and after this was the before and this is after it's looking good okay now let's add a little bit darkness or vignette effect let's go with the gradient select here radial radial <laughs> and black color black color okay select here reverse let's increase the scale and angle too okay let's go with it change the blending mode to soft light and look at this this was the before and this is after but i don't want this effect in this area so select the mask press p to select the brush and select the foreground color black to hide this area like this so i think it's done look at this this was the before and this is after it's looking really really good okay i want to decrease the highlights of the background little bit let's create a curves above the uh, model layer and now i want to look at this the uh, curves is now affected all over the picture but i want to apply this only just on the model so create a clipping mask here and just decrease the highlights little bit not too much okay that's good and i want to apply just a reddish tone over her it's very very slight so look at this this was the before and this is after now it's look more natural okay it's done now i want to add some lips so file place go to the file then place embedded and just open the lips file so i think it's good okay but let's just place it finish the gradient layer and look at this okay so it's looking good by that but i think there is something missing so let's create a, another color balance layer make a create a clipping mask because i just want to affect the leaves layer and do some minor adjustment to blend the leaves with the background yes look at this now it's looking it's looking really good right now look at this this was the before and this is after it's looking more natural let's decrease it a little bit i think now it's looking good so let's see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after okay look at this this was the before and this is after so this is it i hope you love this video if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe